We're here at Quilt Market with Valerie Wells in her booth with her new collection, Renly. And this is an awesome collection. Thank Can you tell you. us about the different fabric substrates? I think well, you know, you... There, yeah, there's three different substrates. I have, um, you know, the cotton, lovely quilting mm -hmm. cotton. Um, mm -hmm. I have a little bit of voile or voile, whatever you want to call it. And then some sateen um, mm -hmm. home deck pieces. So, um, yeah, and it's kind of fun to have that variety because then you can really play with making different things for your house. You know, you can cover something, you can make a bag, you can make a quilt, you can make a skirt. So you have a nice variety of, um, of goods to use. Well, I like too that in the home decor, you've got a nice selection of prints, I think, that yeah. work really well together. Well, and you know, in the home decor, I also, I switched my colors up in, I have a pink in the cotton and the voile, but I did it in the reds because I felt that the mm -hmm. reds were a little bit more home decor than pink. Right. Pink's more clothing, mm -hmm. you know, or a quilt. Um, I just didn't see somebody covering a chair in this. And, you know, I covered a chair in this one. Right, this, so, this chair yes, right here. Yes, yes. And um, so I think that that was, um, you know, I really try and think about those things when I design fabric is how people are going to use it um, color-wise, size-wise, designs, but still staying, staying true to myself. So, so you've got some similar prints in here, but they're smaller scale than the home decor, is that correct? Yeah, um, yes, yes. They're a little bit smaller scale. So the Renly Bird, um, just a little bit different, not, not a huge amount, mm -hmm. but the repeat on it is part of it also is that I made sure that that repeat was the length of the 54 inches, and this mm -hmm. one's 45. Okay. So, and the Ingrid print is a little bit different also. Uh huh. So, yeah. And you said you've got two colorways on that? So there's kind of the blue and green colorway, and then there's this sort of pink colorway with a bit of the, um, I call it gypsy palette, which is sort of the multicolored bird and mm -hmm. Ingrid there. And, um, and then there's the mama bird, which um, oh, that's... being a mama. <laughs> and uh, you know, I have mamas with two birds and three birds, and then a few that are off by themselves, going to college or something, you know. <laughs> Anyway, so the mama bird, and then um, this is the mandarin color. So it has a little bit more of a creamy mm -hmm. background. Mm -hmm. So a little um, bit of that pink in there. Yeah, and the saying. touch of that funky gold uh -huh. color that um, I think just kind of accents kind it. Kind of a goldy green. Mm -hmm. and, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and then this is the wild field. I love which this one. Is, yeah, and I like the way the layering came out uh -huh. with it. Um, You've got the big yeah, and I really prints in the like background that layering and the little stuff. ones in front. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, the bloom, which is the big flowers. And uh, I first, when I first started drawing them, I called them the drip flowers because I had no idea what to call them because they look kind of like little drips of... Like little teardrops little or drips. little raindrops. Yeah. <laughs> so I thought, well, that's, it, that's not going to work for the title, so I'm just call it bloom. Um, and then there's a simple stripe. So, yeah. Yeah, I like the texture oh, of the stripe, one too. More. It's, not, it's actually... Not just a simple stripe, I love the textures in here, yeah. the little dots in here. And you know, the, it's kind of funny because I took, um, I have one of the leaves in Inker, it has these little stripes and dots, and I was like, oh wow, that could make a good coordinate. Yes. You know, it's one of those things you don't realize until after I get my big prints done. I usually do all my big prints first, and then I find things or think of things to do for the other prints. So, and the last one was the little rosette, which... Oh, that's um, darling. And it was kind of fun because of the, the little lines and the colors play around with each other, so... Yeah. This, this right here is the home decor. You recovered this. Yes. Yeah. Home decor. So this is yeah. This is the sateen home decor. And um, excuse me, it, it was an old couch of my mom's that we had in the shop, and we pulled everything off and stapled it back on and glued the ribbon around it, and it was really fun. And this is a great it. way to work, repurpose something that you find yeah. in, a, in a thrift store or something that you actually yeah. pull out and you think, oh, I was going to throw this out or yep. give it away, and here there's you go, always voila. potential somewhere. And I mean, when it was white and it was so. So it's blah, and uh -huh. you didn't really see the character of it. And once we painted it this turquoise, it just came to life, all the shapes and the designs and everything. So it was really kind of fun to do that. And it kind of follows that. the swirls in this, yeah. so that's nice. Yeah, yeah. It brings attention. So it worked out really nice. Now this is the quilting cotton, is that right? Yeah, it is the quilting cotton, and um, this is, you know, Renly. And, um, you know, the way that the fabric is designed, it um, goes the full length, the repeat is the 45 inches. And so I really wanted to take that and kind of separate it up and use a big print in a way that was really appealing mm -hmm. and also um, mix the solids in because I love solids. And now I these love are the free spirit solids. They are the free spirit solids. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
Yeah, so, and it's a very simple um, formula and it looks complicated and there's something kind of cool about that, so. Now this is just one of your sewing cards, right? It is. We introduced a few sewing cards that are a little bit bigger. Um, <clears throat> and so since it's a little bit bigger, you know, it's $5 retail instead of three, but still a great deal. I mean, and it's something that somebody could pick up as a gift. Right. Um, and, you know, you can, the schematic and everything allows you to be able to pick your own fabrics. I mean, you don't have to use my fabric. Of right. course, I would love it, but... And it's so wonderful with the birds there. Yeah, and it just makes a nice, you know, then once you, you pick your background color, and then you get fine little accent pieces to put in there. So, Valerie, tell us a little bit about the, the voils. Now, this is part of your, your Renly line that's coming out it this is, summer. It is, it is. And, um, you know, the voil is such a yummy lightweight, cool, summery sort of fabric. It lends itself to clothing, and I think for quilts, it's fabulous. So um, I have some, there's just, I only did a few pieces because you don't really need a ton. Um, mm -hmm. And because when you're doing clothing, you're not really thinking about piecing voile to make your clothing. I mean, you might a little bit, but not, not a ton. So there's a few pieces here, kind of some in the pink palette and then some mm -hmm. in the blue. Um, and uh, they, they're just, they're so nice to work with and they wash up so well and it's really soft against the skin. A lot of times I line I my skirts. I love the way they flow and mm -hmm. drape. They're just so yeah. light and flowy. They are, they're wonderful. And this, um, I have some new patterns coming out and uh, there's a voile skirt and then the voile top. And um, it just kind of is a nice summery feeling and, and we really are trying to do patterns that fit a variety of shapes and sizes, uh -huh. like really just finding an accent that looks good on everybody. So. Well, and the bed behind you, you're using the voile as the, as the yeah. quilt. Yeah, yeah. So this is a twin quilt, and um, I've used cotton batting, I've used wool batting, but this is actually a um, silk batting. And I hear, my mother tells me, she says, well, you know, the French make all their summer quilts with voile and silk batting. So I thought, well, I'll try that. So um, the only, <laughs> the hard part is the silk batting is expensive, so, you know, you don't want to make it too big. <laughs> but <laughs> it is wonderful. and It's, it's for your day bed. It's for your day bed, <laughs> Or your twin bed. <laughs> um, but the nice thing is, is that it's, it's really easy to use. It sews like butter. Uh -huh. And, you know, you just have to pin it really well when you quilt it. Because the first, I quilted one one day and I hadn't pinned it very well. And I'm like, oh, I got a bubble. <laughs> Nothing like ripping out quilting. Uh -uh. But, um, especially in foil. Especially in foil. <laughs> so it healed up just fine and I pinned it better and everything was good. My wish bird. Yes. Now tell us, there's a story behind your wish bird, There is right? a story behind my wish bird. So, um... She came out, well, she's, she really is the Renly bird, just mm -hmm. in a three-dimensional. Mm -hmm. um, but I had a group of friends that were at my studio, and they were having a craft day. And afterwards, they gave me a really nice note and a little, I have my little jar. It says, wish, 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 down the side of it. And um, so this is a couple years ago that this happened. And I put it in my studio and just sat there. It was, oh, so cute. And my, um, I found out I was pregnant with my third baby and was a little bit overwhelmed with all of the, all of it. So, and I happened to see that cup in there and I was like, huh. So I wrote down a wish and I put it in my cup. And I felt a little bit better, you know, cause you just, there's something about getting things on paper and getting them out of your head, out of mm -hmm. your heart, mm -hmm. whatever. So, um, I wanted to do another animal because I love doing the stuffed animals. You know, I've always done them for my kids and stuff, but I wanted, since I love those fun things in my studio, I thought, well, what if I took that concept of writing a wish and doing something special, and I thought, well, I'll just turn Ren leaves into, so, into a bird with a little pocket. So, embroidered the leaves and, and. And you did one for each of your friends, and I they were all did, different, right? Yeah, and they all, I really tr picked their personalities, you know, each <laughs> one got their personality and their beads. Um, I have one down here I'll show you. Um, so here's one of them. Oh, they all let, they let me borrow them. Oh, that's wonderful. Yeah, so she has some beads on her and little pocket and um, so yeah, and little wire legs. So everybody ha you know, has little wish birds. And this, th so this is a sewing card again. It this is. is the same size mm -hmm. as. And as it's a $5 card. This is amazing. Yeah, yeah. this is wonderful.